What up everybody? This is Game On, an eSports educational video series brought to you in collaboration by Futures First Gaming and Real Talk Session Series. My name's Steven Tsai. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Futures First Gaming, a STEM.org accredited eSports and education company. What is eSports? Esports is competitive sports in a digital media. So what does that mean? Basically, you're playing video games against a competitor for a record, for a prize, for an award, or something like that. With COVID right now, we can't do traditional sports, so here is a major alternative that presents a ton of possibilities. What is Futures First Gaming? Futures First Gaming was founded in 2020 by myself and my co-founders, Malcolm Coley and Newton Felton. We started this company because we knew that with more than 83% of black teens playing video games, the possibilities for career development were endless. At Futures First Gaming, we believe Futures First start with gaming, and we provide opportunities for students and youth to use gaming to then understand the multitude of careers that comes from picking up a video game controller. Esports is a $159 billion global industry that's projected to surpass 225 by the year 2023. Think about that. There are a ton of career possibilities for somebody who's interested in being a professional player all the way through to an event producer. That's what we do at Futures First Gaming. We put our students' interests first. Whatever you're interested in, we can direct you to that career path, especially as it relates to this industry. 83% of black teens play video games. However, only 9% enter into STEM career fields. Our company's vision is to change that statistic. We wanna see equal or even greater representation in STEM career fields by people of color. Our STEM.org accredited education program teaches students coding, game design, entrepreneurship, and of course, we have fun gaming. We play competitions, we organize leagues, and we even have a Fire Stick TV channel that we'll be launching this spring. Why is esports so essential and so important to black people? There's a bigger conversation that needs to be had, and that's technology. The disparities in technology for black and brown people are vast, right? right. So how can we start to close these gaps and eliminate these disparities within the black and brown co communities? We literally meet them where they're at, right? We're talking about Fortnites, Call of Duties, NBA 2Ks, Maddens, League of Legends, right? All of these kids are playing these games. And how can we literally infiltrate the kids' minds with some skills that can get them to another level? We're talking about coding. We're talking about web development. We're talking about game development, right? But they can learn all of this through esports. Esports is essential because it's capturing their attention right now at a young age. And we can literally help eliminate the disparities within technology right now. Technology is literally shaping our community when we're talking about Google, Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All the kids love to be on TikTok, but guess what? What if they had the intellectual property in order to develop a TikTok, right? So this is how we eliminate these disparities through esports. Every kid in our every community, and I don't even care what their monetary situation is, they have an Xbox, they have a PlayStation, they have a mobile phone where they can access these games, or they have some type of a Nintendo Switch. Listen, once we meet these kids exactly where they're at, we can teach them these skills in order to go to the next level in technology, and they will be able to shape the world and shape the future. Esports is integrated in a plethora of different industries. Fashion, hip hop, and the sneaker culture. Back in the day, with Run DMC, we all paid attention on what they wore on their feet. Now today, we're looking at what Drake's wearing, the Yeezys from Adidas, especially with gamers, we wanna look like the latest rapper, what they're wearing, what music they're listening to. So another example on how hip hop and esports meet. Travis Scott had a virtual concert on Fortnite, where he had over 28 million virtual attendees. Imagine 28 million people watching Fortnite virtually. 28 million people can't even fit inside of a football arena. Just think about that. Be sure to follow us on all of our platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. 
Also, be sure to join our Discord. In June, we'll also be hosting an event, Girls Who Game. So be sure to check out all of our social media platforms for more information. You can also visit us at www.futuresfirstgaming. Also, make sure you follow Real Talk Session Series on all social media platforms. Be sure to visit the merch store. All proceeds go to funding educational videos such as this. Thank you for tuning in to Game On. I'm Nudie Felton from Futures First, where Futures First starts with gaming.